Yo what is going on guys, Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7 and for today's video I'll be doing a theory video about Bart Allen aka Impulse as well as Nora West Allen aka Excess and how they could potentially play into the season and what their storylines could potentially be about. So obviously from the time I'm recording this video, we have wrapped up graphic novel number 3, titled God Complex, which is obviously the fourth storyline, which was pretty meh. And we are currently in a mid-season break, where The Flash will pick up with its first episode of graphic novel number 4 next week, during the 8th of June, with Cisco's final episode, which will be pretty emotional. But we do have a lot of things going on during the back half of the season which does get me excited. We do obviously know that Godspeed will be our main villain for the season but we do also have Bart Allen, Nora West Allen, Jay Garrick and one other speedster which I will not mention for the sake of spoilers making an appearance for not only the 150th episode but they will be appearing during the season 7 finale as well which is a two-parter episode titled Heart of Matter. Um, I just hope that graphic novel number 4 is a bigger redemption to what we got for graphic novel number 3. I just hope graphic novel number 4 is miles better so then it redeems the season fully. But yeah, as I said during the start of this video, I will be theorizing about Bart Allen as well as Nora West Allen and how they could potentially play into the back half of The Flash Season 7. Now, I will be using some photos from Canada Graphs' blog, so if you guys want to check out some other set photos which I wouldn't have added on this video, then be sure to check out his blog post because he does have set photos which are relevant towards what I'll be talking about during this video. But before I go over anything, however, you guys, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more Arrowverse content coming your way. Okay, so firstly, in the post-crisis timeline, we now know that Barry and Iris will not just be having one child in the future, that being Nora West Allen aka Excess, but now in this new timeline, we know that Barry and Iris will be having twins, one in the name of Bart Allen aka Impulse, and then the other one being Nora West Allen aka Excess. So Nora doesn't change, she will, she will still be the daughter of Barry and Iris. Um, I'm guessing they will be their own spin of the Tornado Twins, I think the show will twist it around and make Nora and Bart their version of the Tornado Twins, and I cannot wait to see them on screen. Now when we first saw these speedster twins through set photos, we know that they have not only interacted with Barry Allen, but they also helped our Scarlet speedster, the Flash, face off Godspeed and his multiple different Godspeed clones. So one way these twins could potentially play into this season is maybe through time travel. If they do potentially go down the route that Godspeed is a speedster from the future, maybe it could simply be that during present day we have the Flash as well as Godspeed facing off each other and eventually this leads to one of them time traveling to the future and the other chasing right after them. So if Godspeed is a villain from the future, it would be Godspeed traveling to the future and Barry has the opportunity to catch him so Barry also follows after Godspeed and they race through the time stream and eventually end up in the future where Barry eventually meets his two kids and obviously meets Bart which would be pretty interesting to see because at that moment Barry only knows that he's going to have a daughter not a son so seeing his reaction to Bart Allen should be very interesting now, if they don't go for this, another way they could potentially play into the season, still through time travel, is due to how desperate Barry will become for help. We do know that through set photos, that whenever the Flash faces off against Godspeed, except for the finale, and by the way guys, I will not be showing any images for the finale during this video because I just don't want to give you guys any spoilers or anything like that, these are just set photos from the 150th episode, but there were always like a total of 5 to 6 different Godspeeds on set, meaning the idea of the Godspeed clones will still be implemented for this Godspeed storyline. So we'll be having the original Godspeed, August Hart, but he will still have his Godspeed clones with him as well. But yeah, we do know that Godspeed as well as his clones will be facing off against the Flash and Barry can barely handle one speedster on his own, so you wouldn't want to imagine the whooping he would receive if he tries to face off these Godspeed clones alongside the real Godspeed as well. And I think that is what's going to happen. I think Barry will struggle 
facing off against these Godspeed clones as well as the original Godspeed and I think Barry around the time of episode 16 will realize that he will need some speedster help to face off against Godspeed because he cannot handle 5 to 6 different speedsters in one go. So this would then lead to Barry going up to Jay Garrick at first since we do know that in post crisis Jay Garrick is from Earth Prime in present day so Barry will get Jay's help at first because they're literally in the same area and then maybe he tries to get t get in touch with Wally or something but maybe Wally's not available or something I don't know they'll have to find a way to cover up Wally because yeah apparently Caden Nonsdale is not interested in playing Wally so that's why I'm guessing Wally is not in the 150th episode to begin with I'm not sure about that these are just the things I have heard of but yeah Barry gets the help of Jay Garrick but still two speedsters facing off against five to six different speedsters. The chances of Barry still winning are low. And maybe this leads to Barry time traveling to the future to get Nora West Allen's help. We do know that during the most recent episode, that being episode 11, we did have Barry and Iris trying for a baby. Meaning sometime in the near future, Iris will get pregnant to a child and Barry knows that his kid in the future will be Nora West Allen or it will be some kind of speedster in the first place. So we would have Barry time traveling to the future to get her help. He will travel to 2049 and get Nora's help but he finds himself with the likes of another speedster as well that being someone called Impulse and as I said before Barry never knew that he had a son. The only child he knows of is Nora and this is where he finds out that in post crisis he will be having twins instead of just Nora West Allen being the single child. So he will get their help, all three of them, and they will all arrive in present day. Now the reason to why they are coming to present day and not stay in the future is because we do know that both Nora West Allen as well as Bart Allen have interacted with our version of the characters. And also we did get a set photo of Nora, Frost and Barry facing off against Godspeed. So we do know that Barry, Nora, Bart and Jay will all be in present day during the 150th episode as well as the season finale. Now in regards to their significance, Bart and Nora's significance, what could their storyline be? So A, it's obviously to establish the fact that Iris will eventually get pregnant or is pregnant at that time. We still don't know about that because we haven't had any other episodes besides episode 11. But let's just say Iris will eventually become pregnant and they will find out that they don't only have one single daughter, that being Nora West Allen, but now they have two kids and they're twins, Bart and Nora. B, this is the obvious but it's obviously to help Barry take down Godspeed because Barry will be struggling to take down multiple different speedsters so Barry will get all the speedster help which he needs and C potentially set up a spin-off down the road maybe when the Flash final season hits or something I'm not entirely sure. Now on Twitter an account called Pursuit23 who is very reliable by the way and he does have very reliable sources but yeah, he mentioned that he heard Nora West Allen, Bart Allen and Jay Garrick will all be staying for season 8 of The Flash as well. These are rumors at the moment, these aren't 100% confirmed. So yeah, if this is actually true, the never ending cast just keeps getting bigger. But yeah, I am interested to see where they will go with this because this cast just keeps getting bigger and bigger so I have no idea how they're going to balance every single character at once. Obviously we have already had one season focused on Nora before that being season 5 so it will be cool to have more emphasis on Bart and Jay Garrick as well if they are to become series regulars going into season 8. I doubt they'll be series regulars I think they'll still be recurring characters but yeah if they are appearing for season 8 I hope that Bart gets more of the focus over Nora because we've already had a whole entire season with Nora during season 5 and I just think it's Bart and Jay's turn. But the question is what is the reasoning for them staying beyond season 7? I would guess that season 8 is just going to be hugely speedster related in some way which is why they would also be staying beyond season 7 since these are three different speedsters appearing for season 8 alongside the Flash as well making it four speedsters so I am guessing that we're gonna have like another speedster big bad or something during season 8 
But yeah, I'm very interested to see what they do with these characters. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe. Be sure to tell me in the comment section down below how you guys think that Nora and Bart will play into the season. I'm interested to see what you guys think towards all of this as well. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.